Hey everybody, new week, new unit. This is our last unit and last speech of the semester. Just a couple more weeks to go guys, so hang in there. I wanted to um, do just a quick introductory video for you um, so that you know I'm still here, I'm still here for you. Please reach out if you have questions or need help, okay? So if you go to course content, um, I have broken down the weeks for our final unit it here for you and inside of the folder there will be more specific information coming to you on each of these other weeks in the coming weeks so this is our first week for this unit and um, there are some chapter readings for you to get the uh, principles of persuasive speaking down and um, there is some important information that is added in those powerpoints that are additional to what the textbook provides so make sure that after you read those chapters you also go in and view those PowerPoint notes for additional material and then um, of course the assignment sheet for your persuasive speech is posted here too so that you can see all of the requirements there and then um, I would like for you to view the example persuasive speech on cyberbullying and the link is inside of the content folder and then you will need to um, post to the forum and um, that's inside of the folder as well. Do remember that uh, you'll need to reply to each other so we have an actual discussion of that speech, okay? It's a little bit different from the other videos that I have shown you on public speeches. Uh, you'll see that his audience is a little bit different this time. So I want you to think about the effectiveness of the choices that he makes based upon on that. All right, and then do some brainstorming and come up with your topic. And so the thesis is due to the discussion forum this week as well. And then don't forget to go into your My Grades link to get feedback on your choice. So if you click on the unit folder, here's the persuasive assignment sheet. So if we open that, then you'll see that this one is going to be seven to nine minutes. So the time has grown on this one because there's much more content and source material and evidence that needs to be provided in order to be truly convincing to your audience. So you have seven to nine minutes. Make sure you practice meeting that time frame because remember that it's a whole letter grade deduction if you don't meet the minimum of seven or if you go over the max of nine. Now, also keep in mind that when you are doing your speech, sometimes nerves will affect your time. So if you practice meeting the mid-range there, you're more likely to make that time. So when you practice, try to meet about the eight minute mark, okay? You can use one, one index card. All right, so make sure that you um, think about how you're going to use that and get all of your content onto it clearly so that you can use it effectively during the speech. More than one note card will be a letter grade deduction. Now this speech is worth 200 points all by itself. So a letter grade deduction is a significant deduction if you don't meet that time or if you use more than one note card. So make sure that you're following the guidelines on the assignment sheet. And then um, of course, outlines have to be turned in before the speech. I'm gonna be checking them for plagiarism, so make sure that if you use anything exactly word for word from a source, you put quote marks around it in your outline. And on the outline, make sure that you cite your sources the way that you intend to say them in the speech. So on page 72, it gives you a list. Author, title, medium, date, maybe a little description of the source. Make sure you get all of that in there. I'm gonna be looking for that very specifically on this speech, okay? Something that will be different for this particular outline is that I want you to use at least three methods of persuasion and mark them 
in the outline. So um, now I'm not just talking about appeals. Now as you read your chapters and look at the PowerPoint notes, you'll see that for persuasion, we have to appeal to the heads and the hearts of our listeners. So we have to have that intellectual appeal and also that emotional appeal, okay? So those should be balanced in your speech. And how we get to those appeals are through the different methods of persuasion like facts and statistics, referring to an authority, predicting the consequence, answering the opposition, having a call to action, or a specific relevant example or analogy. And so if you look at the chapter notes, then that will help you to solidify those things in your mind and reach out to me if you have questions, okay? And then um, you may include a demonstration, a visual aid, um, if you feel like it'll help you get your point across. Remember that visual aids can very simply and clearly state your views in a visual form for your audience to absorb that information better. So it's wise to use one for the persuasive speech, but it is not required for this if it has been something that was clunky for you on the last speech or you struggled using that um, effectively, then you don't have to do one. So remember, they can be awesome, but if they distract you from your content or hurt the quality of your speech, don't even worry about it, okay? Now, for your content, you must have at least four sources for this speech. All four sources have to be varying sources that shows that you have looked for the best quality content for this speech possible. So for some of you, that might be a couple of databases and an online website and a book, or it might be an interview that you carry out over the phone because of COVID-19, right? So you wanna find a variety of sources. You wanna make sure that you cite them internally in your outline, the way that you are going to say them in the speech, and then also put the MLA 8th edition documentation in a works cited page list arranged alphabetically. And in the coming weeks, I will be showing you some um, reminders and tips on how to build that outline appropriately so that you don't miss points there. Some of you I have warned on feedback of other outlines that I will not accept anything that is not properly formatted anymore. You'll get a big fat zero if you don't use the proper form and you don't use the proper way of citing your sources internally and on the work cited page. So please make sure that you do that and you'll need four different sources, okay? Now, I want you to make sure that you're showing me how you have improved over the course of the semester. So look back at your other evaluation sheets and see what are some things that I have continually been marked on? What do I need to work on? Was it bouncy gestures when I was talking? Was it I talked too fast? Was it that I had too many vocal fillers or interferences? So show me some improvement, okay? So this part, of course, is old. We're not signing up for a date and time to do the speech. You guys are going to be submitting those online line, but you have to meet the deadline, okay? So um, I did have a list at the bottom of this page as well. They, these are old, tired topics that really struggle to be relevant anymore. Um, these topics maybe are um, unbalanced in the appeals that people use. So I am asking you to steer away from topics like abortion. That's a largely emotional argument and um, it's hard to provide much logic, plus it's the same old argument I've been hearing for 15 years of doing this job, okay? So I'm trying to help you by saying, don't pick that topic, all right? Um, euthanasia or mercy killing, um, that's an old tired topic. Lowering the drinking age, there's like one argument for that um, whole concept. If I can go and fight for my country, I ought to be able to bar, uh, buy a beer. Um, well, what else do you have? Okay. So again, I'm taking those off the list because um, 
they're just not very good topics to choose anymore. Um, drinking and driving is one of those kind of emotional arguments as well. Um, you're going to be reading in the book about three different types of claims, um, claim of fact, claim of value, and claim of policy. And um, these are claims of value, you know, drinking and driving. So if you say drinking and driving is bad, that's a claim of value. It's like, yeah, but we all know that right so again I wouldn't pick that one um, legalization and gun control um, legalization of marijuana sorry and gun control are um, only possibilities again now because of recent re uh, legislation that has changed some regulations for us so just know that if you do pick one of those two topics legalization of marijuana or gun control. You absolutely must find the most relevant and recent information on those topics. Um, they're a little old and tired in the basic arguments though, okay? So I will just tell you right now that it would be a challenge to do those topics well at this point. So, um, do some brainstorming and see if you can come up with um, a good topic that has relevance to you, that's meaningful to you, okay? And then um, here are the PowerPoint notes that you can use as a review for the reading of the chapters. And then you do have a persuasive readings quiz that you need to take by Friday. So make sure that you have um, read the chapters well because it will be timed at only 15 minutes. You won't have time to look up every answer. So read carefully and closely, review content before you open that quiz and take it. And then here is the cyberbullying um, uh, speech review. What I did was I locked that down when I created that video for you um, because it was a subscription video from the publisher. So I sent an email to your Cowley email that had uh, the link for that speech. If you have trouble getting that, please um, to open or anything, um, please contact me as soon as possible so that you can do a review on that. And what I'm looking for is at least one comment on all three of those things and then respond to at least two classmates by Friday. It's a post first for forum, which means that you have to do your post before you can see anyone else's posts. So um, make sure that you go back in in order to respond to your peers. Don't wait until Friday night to do this, guys. Because you have to respond to each other, you're going to be putting each other at a big imposition if you wait till late in the week to post. Because I am not going to give you full credit for discussing in this forum if you're not talking to each other in the forum. So get in early and make this post and then reply to two others by Friday. Um, and then here is the topic forum, and I do have specific information about how I want you to list your topics. So remember that only one person per topic, so you will need to put just in the title of your post the topic itself. For example, service learning courses. And then your specific speech purpose goes in the text box. For example, to persuade my audience, is supposed to be a type error there, uh, that service learning courses are beneficial for gaining employment after schooling. And then changing that idea into a thesis statement, you will also list that. Remember that a thesis statement is one strong declarative thesis uh, a sentence. And in order to make it sound like persuasion, so that I am clear what you are trying to convince me of. It's wise to include a word like should or need or must into that statement. So an example is to prepare for a difficult job market and enhance your resume while making a significant difference for other people, you should take one or more service learning courses. Now I know exactly where this speech is going and that's due by Sunday. So do some brainstorming. If you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Email me or some of you are on Remind so you can text me your questions and I've been getting right back with people when they text me. So have a wonderful week and good luck.